My channel so today is a spring home tour I know I'm a little late to the show on this but better late than never so I'm gonna show you mostly everything that is decorated in my house is things that I made because I don't buy a whole lot of decorations for holidays but it was really fun being able to decorate Bye. for spring with things that I made and things that were really inexpensive and easy to do and anybody can even make any of this stuff so Let's get going with the spring home tour. So before I start with my spring tour, this company called Vixing sent me this really cute aroma diffuser. And I love oil diffusers. I love everything about them. And I thought before I even started my spring tour, I would get this set up because it's super simple to use. You just add water and there's a max line. And this is also BPA free, which is amazing. And then I just took some lemon oil to diffuse that just to make it just super spring and fun in here. This is like I said, it's really easy to use. There's a four in one button for easy apparatus. Operation. So you can have, if you press like one button, there is a mist mode with eight changing lights. It's really, really cool. If you press it twice, you can just have it onto one color and then the third just powers it off. But I really like this. It's really, really quiet and really, really pretty. And I absolutely love it in my kitchen. All right, you guys. So here's my home tour of my kitchen and my spring decor. So first off on my little cooler, I have a couple things I made from the Dollar Tree. I have that little bird nest in that little bottle. The little candle is from Tractor Supply and the little pot is from TJ Maxx. And then just going along here, it's pretty basic. I got this pillow a few years ago. I think it's from Home Goods, if not maybe Burlington Coat Factory. And then this is just a wreath that I made using Dollar Tree items. And then going along to the corner, I showed this in my Decorate Kitchen video. I got both of those from Hobby Lobby on clearance. And then in this corner, I just have the little clock scale from Tractor Supply, the chickens from the Dollar Tree, the little moss bunny is from TJ Maxx, and the little yellow chicken is from TJ Maxx as well. And then the tray is from Target a couple years ago in the dollar spot. And then by my sink, I have this little tray that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance. Those little bunnies are from the Dollar Tree. This little canister that says a bunny love on it is from TJ Maxx. And then I made that little succulent terrarium. I love these little glass soap dispensers. Those are from Grove and they are on clearance for a really, really good deal right now. So I just bought those and then these little pots. One has a succulent in them and the rest just did not make it. And that little candle is from Tractor Supply. And then over here is a little cotton wreath I made with the little canisters from TJ Maxx. And then I think that little tray right there that they're in is also from TJ Maxx. The last thing I have on my counter is this little shelf. I have the little teacup set. That is actually my great grandma's that my grandma gave to me. And the little succulent candle I made and the little bunny is from Walmart. And then on the top of my refrigerator, I have an old scale. The candle is from Tractor Supply. And then a few things I just made from the Dollar Tree. And then the little letterboard sign is from Target. And then the tray is from Tractor Supply. And now moving on into the dining room. This is as clean as it's ever going to be. Don't mind the toy room. It will forever be messy. But I'm going to start on this side of the dining room. This is one of my favorite sides because my three-tier tray is over here. I will leave that video link in the description box below so I don't have to tell you exactly where everything is from because I did in that video and there's so much in there. But this little bunny sign I made, I will leave all of these video links in the description box as well. And then also that little birdhouse um, little tea light I made that as well with Dollar Tree items and then a lot of this stuff I made or I bought on clearance at a really really good price and then the little crate that is white I thrifted that from Goodwill and then just put some from across the room it's kind of crowded here but I know you see me too everybody singing oh everybody singing oh you in must be in the way 
And then my centerpiece, I have redone this so many different times. The lavender, I made that with Dollar Tree items. The little wreath, the succulent, and the little tray, I made all of those as well. The bunny came from the Target dollar spot, and the little egg tree that came from Target dollar spot as well a couple years ago. So if you guys watch a lot of my spring decorate with me videos, you'll notice that I changed a lot of stuff around and at my buffet table, I actually took things from my living room and put it on here. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. I've had this lantern for a while that came from tractor supply. These little wood slice bunnies I made, the little moss eggs are from Hobby Lobby. And then a lot of it I just made. So like I said, I will leave those links in the description box. And then the tray is also from Tractor Supply. But I know I have seen those ones at Hobby Lobby. The little cotton stem vase is from Hobby Lobby as well. And then a lot of things I have are older antiques and really fun things. The farmhouse clock is also from Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. Baby, let me love you. And next to the buffet table, I have this shelf I have hanging in the corner, and I don't change this up a lot, so this is mostly my year-round decor, and then some of it is actually new, but the little moss bunny sign, I made that this spring, and then the little succulent bucket, I made that in one of my first DIY videos, so if you guys want to watch that, I will leave that as well. The little chicken came, or rooster? Chicken. That came from Walmart. The little candles that look like birch, those came from Menards. I love that place and the whole shelf came from Target. These little houses came from Target. The work hard sign came from TJ Maxx. The farmer's market sign came from Walmart and the little green vase came from Amazon. And then on the other side of the dining room wall, I have this shelf. And this is one of my favorite ones. I just have a picture from when my husband and I got married. This wooden clock that I made as well. This cotton ball, I also made that. And then the little home sign came from, I want to say, Hobby Lobby. And then the little floral that came from, well, I made that. But I think the floral came from Walmart and the little vase came from Dollar Tree. And then here's my bathroom downstairs. I did do some decorating on this. Everything came from the Dollar Tree in here and or I made it. So I was really excited that I was able to decorate this bathroom. It's not my favorite because it is red and it's not my favorite, but I was really excited to decorate it. Just say the word and we can leave this place. And then the last place in my house that I did decorate for spring is my living room. So this is really, really basic, but I just wanted to show you some of my decorations that I have all year long. I love pictures of my children and you don't see that very often. So I always leave those up year round. These wreaths that I hung on our stairs, these are ones I made using a Dollar Tree items. And I think these ones were so cute and I couldn't just hide them away and not put them anywhere. We have so much wind anyways, so we can't really put wreaths on our outside door unless we want everything to blow away. But these crates I decorated, this little egg tree, egg floral nest, all of that was made using Dollar Tree items and Walmart floral. I know everybody picked up this lavender from uh, Walmart if they could and it's really really pretty and really really I think I'll leave this out like all summer long and this little bunny topiary was made using Dollar Tree items and I can't remember where that little um, pot came from with a mirror and then the two peas and a pod sign came from Hobby Lobby and the basket also came from Hobby Lobby and then I just have some pillows on our love seat home is where your story begins that is from Peebles it's almost like a Macy's type Kohl's around here and then I just have some blankets on our rocking chair along with this Happy Easter pillow. I also think that came from Burlington Cult Factory quite a few years ago. And then onto this chest. I love this chest. I kind of want to paint it, but I really don't want to, so it's going to stay brown for a while. The little egg nest, I made that using Dollar Tree items. These cute little stuffed bunnies came from the Target dollar spot. The clock is obviously an antique. 
And then also this white pitcher came from, I want to say Amazon. I cannot think of where it is. And the little boxwood in it also came from Amazon. And these little bunnies, I have had these for like nine years. These came from Dollar General and that's when they were like 50% off. So I only paid like $5 each for them. And then moving on to our TV stand, I just made that little succulent. And then we just had a couple random ducks. Um, those were something from my grandma. And then this window came from an antique shop and the boxwood wreath came from Target. But that is it, you guys. If you guys liked this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.